Hello and welcome my name is Amulle and in this video I'm going to show you how to install Ruby and Ruby on Rails on Microsoft Windows 10 computer. So in order to install Rails we need to have Ruby installed on the system as well as DevKit. So to download Ruby and DevKit on your system you simply go ahead and launch any of your browser and go to rubyinstaller.org this process is going to be good for windows 7 and 8 as well so go ahead and launch your browser and pull up this website rubyinstaller.org and then click on this download button and then you have a lot of options if you do not need ruby on rails you can simply go ahead and install ruby without dev kit so you got 64 bit and 32 bit at this moment it's a 2.6.1 which is latest version of ruby but we will require the dev kit as well so you can see this is the most recommended version of ruby with dev kit for microsoft windows 10 64 bit operating system so i'm going to download it and install it so simply go ahead and click on it and save it so save it here and you can see I already have downloaded one so I'm going to cancel this one and just going to open or you can just click on it simply locate your downloaded Ruby uh, package and open it select the I accept the license and then hit next I would like to change the directory name for Ruby so I'll keep it very simple Ruby and you also do not want to uncheck any of these boxes and then hit install this is basically a development tool chain for Ruby so you want to have it checked and then hit next this is going to install Ruby and DevKit the development tool chain as well and this shouldn't take long time alrighty so thank you for your patience it took around two minutes I guess and we are almost done here so once this Ruby is installed it's going to install the development tool chain for DevKit basically for Ruby on Rails and what it does is basically inst installs MSYS2 and along with DevKit, okay? Uh, so here we are now. The Ruby has been installed. You can see it. And this is asking you to run a command with your on your command prompt. However, if you just check this box and hit finish it's going to launch the command prompt with this command here it's ruby installer 2 for windows and you have three options one two three or you can simply press enter so the best option is simply press enter and it's going to do its job now this will take a moment it may take up to five minutes depending on the internet speed so once it's done I will be right back okay so everything is done now you can see it's asking for the same thing again so all we have to do is just press enter and that means we had to restart the terminal so you can go ahead and check if ruby is installed so ruby version and this is ruby 2.5.3 64 bit okay so go ahead and check what gems we have so we can simply say ruby sorry gem list okay so this is going to list all the gems installed on the system there are, these are the gems so a lot of gems okay now we will quickly go ahead and install rails okay so simply say gem install rails 
you can go ahead and hit enter but what we ex exactly want we do not want the documentation to be installed on the system so we simply say no document okay so gem install rails space hyphen hyphen no hyphen document and hit enter this is going to install rails on the system this will again take some time so okay this has just started and this is going to take i think this is going to install almost 40 gems so once it's installed i'll be right back Alrighty, thank you for your patience you can see 39 gems were installed so we have ruby on rails 5.2.3 installed on the system let's go ahead and check everything so ruby version is going to be 2.5 we also have bundler installed bundler is basically a package manager 2.0.1 that's a gem as well you can see here now let's go ahead and check rails so simply type rails version again it's going to be 5.2.3 now we can go ahead and quickly create an application so I'm going to head on to desktop so change directory and I am in desktop right now I'm going to make a directory and I'm going to say Ruby box change the directory to Ruby box and here I'm going to create a rails applications so rails new and then say web app and hit enter and it's going to take few minutes a minute or so it's it's a bit slower on microsoft windows so once it's done i'll be right back you may get a, an error of sql light gem not okay so if you get any error i'm going to help you fix that as well so i'm going to wait for it okay it's almost done here and let's see what happens public suffix addressable archive zip b and x native extensions okay i'll be quick and right back all right so thank you for your patience you can see this is the error message basically so it is not able to install the sql light 3 gem however there is a fix it's a very common issue so this is the page the github page i'm going to link i'm going to give you the link in the description you just have to copy this line here and replace it so yeah that's the line you have to copy and it's available in many comment okay so what we're going to do we're going to open wherever it is okay so it's on the ruby box i'm going to close this one and open the folder so it is on the desktop and this is going to be under ruby box here it is and just go ahead and open the gem gem file and you can see here sqlite so you have to replace this with the this line from the github page and simply save it okay and go ahead and change the directory here into your web app so web app and then simply say bundle install and hopefully this time it's going to install the SQLite 3 and you can see fetching and it's going to download and install everything the SQLite and the rest of the 
gems as well if required just wait for it this takes time so this doesn't work on any as uh, like ruby 2.4 2.5 and 2.6 as well so you can see using this one now it's okay and so that's the error which is very common when you're going to install Ruby on Rails on Microsoft Windows 10. So it's going to install a few more gems. Thank you for your patience. You can see 77 gems now installed. So let's go ahead and quickly run the application. So we are already in the web app root directory and let's go ahead and run the server so rails server or simply s hit enter and once it's okay so then you go to localhost colon 3000 okay here you see it's so localhost 3000 and then here we have ruby on rails rails version 5.2.3 and ruby we have 2.5.3 so you can use ruby 2.4 2.5 2.6 the only thing is you may get this error the sqlite error so you have to replace that gem file with this line here so that's it for this video thank you so much for watching this video please like share and subscribe to my channel have a good time bye for now happy coding